Well, I think there are actually two ways that stand out to me where synchronicity relates to science. One is that Carl Jung only wrote about synchronicity after he was encouraged to write about it by Wolfgang Pauli, one of the founders of quantum physics. Now, one of the principles in quantum physics is the notion of entanglement. It's actually been demonstrated that if you get two physical uh, uh, objects like an electron in contact with each other and separate them to opposite ends of the Earth, even one end of the universe to the other, technically, then if something influences the spin or action of one of those electrons, the other one, across the other side of the universe even, will have a complementary shift. So these particles are connected instantaneously. Now, if it's been shown by entanglement that matter can be connected at a distance instantaneously, then why not people's minds? And I think that happens with propinquity. Thinking of someone, they ring you just at that point, that's the equivalent psychically of the physical principle of entanglement. The second thing is anything that helps uh, us boost our PERMA, according to the positive psychology model, anything that boosts our positive affect, engagement in roles, relationships, meaning and sense of achievement. And synchronicity does that by help affirming our direction, helping motivate, motivate us like a tick from the universe, we're on the right track. And also can help our sense of connection with other people. Well, having an affirmed direction and having a bolstered connection with others, these things have been scientifically shown through positive psychology to help our well-being. So therefore, if people experience synchronicity in those ways, then it bolsters our well-being as well.